All right, I wanna share an example real quick of how you can use circuit training to build both strength and size. You see, circuit training is one of those things that insecure people will try to label as something that you would only do to improve conditioning or promote weight loss, but the way you do what you do will determine more than anything else the return you get on your investment of time and effort. And you can use circuit training to build both strength and size. So I'll give you an example of how you could do that real quick. Now what you wanna do is you wanna pick three exercises, one push, one pull, one legs. The purpose to stimulate every major muscle in the body as you do your circuit. Now if you're undecided on what push, what pull, or what leg exercise to do, don't obsess over it. You don't have to do the same circuit every single time. You could create different circuits and just cycle through them as you go. So for example, let's say you're undecided for push between an overhead press, a bench press, or an incline press. Or for pull, you're undecided between a chin up, a pull up, or a neutral grip pull up. Or for legs, you're undecided between a squat, a deadlift, and a front squat. In this case, you got three favorites of each one. You don't have to exclude any. You can just create three different circuits and cycle through them as you go. Now, irrespective of whether or not you choose to create different circuits and cycle through them or do the same circuit every single time, what you want to do is you want to pick a weight for each exercise that represents 80 to 85% of what you could lift for one for that exercise. It's not the same weight for all your exercises unless your strength is the same for all of them, but that's very rare. What you're going to do is you're going to aim for eight sets of two and you're performing your exercise in circuit fashion. So you go from overhead press to chin up to squat, back to overhead press, back to chin up, back to squat. That's an example of two rounds through the circuit. You aim for eight rounds, eight sets of two. Every single time you do the same workout, the goal is to add one rep. So you're not adding on to your eight sets of two and then doing one extra rep. You're aiming for one set of three and then seven sets of two. Then the next time, two sets of three and then six sets of two. You wanna work your way up to the point where you're doing eight sets of three. At that point in time, you marginally increase the weight and just start over or move on to something else entirely. Now, I wanted to share that real quick to illustrate how you could use circuit training to build both strength and size because insecure people try to label it and say that it's not good for anything except for conditioning or weight loss, but it comes down to how you do what you do. In an attempt to minimize something because you're insecure, the only limitation being placed on anything is the one you're placing on yourself because there are pros and cons to everything.